Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel for another viewer submitted episode of What's in Your Bag. This one comes from local DC viewer, Andrew Logan. Now, Andrew and I don't actually know each other. We only started exchanging emails a few months ago. He was picked by the random comment picker to win the Sound Tools XLR Sniffer Sender giveaway. That was a fun coincidence having Andrew be so close by, and I wish the shipping was as inexpensive on all our giveaways. Speaking of expenses, this video was brought to you by our good friends over at Electra Sound Systems. Bringing world-class attention to detail to events every day, they'll soon be bringing us a behind-the-scenes look at their shop, projects, and adventures on the road in their upcoming new live sound video series. I hope you'll find them on Facebook and follow along to catch the first episode as soon as it's ready. I'm dying to see what they're up to and appreciate their support. Electra Sound Systems. Now, on with the kit. Being here in the city, Andrew commutes to a lot of his gigs on a bicycle, making his everyday carry kit a little bit unique. He sent in this video to give us a look at the minimalist setup that he uses to get through his everyday work around town. Over to you, Andrew. Hey guys, my name's Andrew Logan, and believe it or not, I'm also an audio engineer in the Washington, D.C. area, and Steve and I haven't actually met yet, but we started exchanging emails, and he thought it might be cool for me to show you what's in my bag. Now, I ride my bike a lot, uh, so Pelican was out. Uh, I'll carry a messenger bag or backpack if I need a laptop, but some gigs don't even require that. So, as the starting point, I've been playing around with the idea of using this little bag, um, which can go on my hip or on the back of another bag. And this was about $6 at Home Depot. It's made by Husky. And I'll show you guys what is inside. So of course you have to start with the Leatherman. I have two of these. This one I found on the ground at a recycling center. Awesome ground score, I know. Uh, so that is a little old school. Uh, flashlight, always a must. This one is my second or third, but I really like it. Coast, and it does run on a AA battery, which we all have a lot of partially used ones after every gig. One of my favorites, the Whirlwind Isopod. So this does the essential functions of a DI whenever you're using a laptop or an iPod. Um, something someone pointed out to me is that it probably will fry uh, if you feed Phantom to it, but I said, I just don't have a problem with sending Phantom to uh, a bunch of random inputs. Uh, you know, I'm pretty deliberate with that. So this is a um, mic level summing um, 3.5 to XLR adapter, essentially. E-tape, skin tape. Uh, you never know if your, your AV company or A2 is going to be savvy enough to have this on their own. And if you're doing DPA mics, you're going to need it more than likely stick it to people's faces. I have a couple generic uh, windscreens that could be used on a podium or lav if one is missing. Sharpie. Okay, so this is in lieu of a switch mic, Hosa makes the generic on-off switch for XLR and it works perfectly and it doesn't pop. Um, it's not the most elegant solution if you have to use it on stage, but I quite like having this option, um, especially if you're putting it, a VOG mic in the hands of someone who, you know, wants to have total control. And the Hosa um, DB pad, uh, 20, 30, or 40 DB attenuator. Uh, you never know when you might need a line level source to go down to XLR, and sometimes your board wants that to be a quarter inch, so it's nice to have that versatility. Um, for bars and clubs, the earpiece, um, I think these are the HD Pros or something. They have um, filters that you can interchange between them. Um, so I think you can knock them down 15 or 20 dB. Um, and I really like the fit of these. They're silicone, they fit kind of like in-ear monitor um, rubber earpieces. Wrapping it up, we have the essential ground lift. <gasps> and somewhere in here is an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter. 
Um, should have more than one of those in there. So I wanna thank Steve a lot for having me on. I'm a big fan of the DC Sound Up YouTube channel, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's in everybody else's bags out there. Thanks so much, Andrew, for taking the time to shoot and share that with us. It's really awesome to see how you get so much out of such an efficient little kit. I really like the idea of keeping gear separated into smaller kits and being able to grab just what you need for each job. If you've got a kit, Pelican case, or gig bag you'd like to share with us, we'd love to see it. Andrew did a really great job of shooting this one, but don't worry if you've never made a video before. If you've got a smartphone or a camera that shoots video, it's pretty easy. Just set up in an area with some good light, speak clearly towards the camera, and unpack your kit, and then link the files to us at info at dcsoundop.com we'll take care of the rest. If we use your video in an upcoming uh, episode, we'll send you a $25 gift card to refill your expendables. Thanks for watching. We're editing footage like crazy from the NAMM show right now, and we'll have more videos coming to you very soon. I'll see you next time.